Welcome to John Gets Games. Today we're going to be playing a full three-player game of Ark Nova with my friends Anastasia and Nick joining in. Now, if you don't know the rules to the game, then please check out my instructional video. You can find a link to that down below in the description or by clicking the I up there, and then you can learn how to play the game and then join back in, or I guess you could just watch it and figure it out as we go. Now, once we finished playing this game, we then had a discussion that we recorded for the Friendly Ties podcast. In addition to that, we actually have played this game a couple of times since then, and we put an addendum onto that podcast, so we actually discussed not only this play, but the other two-player games that we've played in the meantime. Now, you can find a link to the video version of that down below in the description, or you can search for Friendly Ties wherever you normally listen to podcasts. Now, before we jump into the game, I would like to ask that if you enjoyed this video, that you please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. In addition to that, if you'd like to directly support the channel and the creation of videos just like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. There you'll find a bunch of ways that you can really help things out, and many of them come with perks like watching some videos early and advertisement-free, as well as voting on which of those videos are made. The final thing I'd like to ask is that if while you are watching this, you see a turn that we should have done differently, or if you just have comments about how this game went overall, then please comment down below because we'd love to see that kind of feedback. Well, it's now time to join up with friends and start playing the game. All right, it looks like all of us are here and we're ready to start playing the game. Uh, I'm going to be the start player today, and during setup we all had to draw eight of these cards and then discard down to four. I went with a pretty, I don't know, bland pick. I don't have any crazy combos, but I think I'm going to have a decent start to my game. And then, Nick, you are the second player for today. Yep, that's me. Um, I uh, This is our second time playing through this game, by the way. And the first time I felt like I played kind of straightforward, um, just playing, you know, crazy stuff with animals. Um, this game, I'm doing something weird and, and sketchy. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Anastasia, how about you? Would you would you keep? Well, I was strongly debating between playing the petting zoo strategy, which is what I played last time. And I was pretty happy with it because it gave me a lot of appeal uh, and the not so easy to play card and i decided to, to go with the not so easy to play awesome. card and we'll see if i <laughs> keep it or discard it did, did you just not want to get bullied by me again for like selling out as a zoo was that what you were concerned about you know i you know i felt very confident in my <laughs> small animal zoo um but i will say i'm definitely not going small <laughs> this time awesome awesome no, um i'm actually not too super happy with my hand but uh we're gonna see we're gonna see how that rolls and we'll see what i'm gonna do about it Cool, cool. Yeah, we like Nick said, we we all the three of us played this once before. This is our second play, and in my first play, I kept some cards with some really difficult prerequisites, and I really felt like I shot myself in the foot there. Uh, so yeah, I guess on that note, let's start the game off. Um, I am the starting player, so I can take the first turn. For the first action, I think I'm going to do some setup. I'm going to go for an association action, so I can perform one association task with a maximum value of three strength, and I only have one worker. And with them, I'm going to go here. That needs three strength, and I can take any one of these partnership zoos. And <laughs> you'd think I would go for Australia, because today we have these three uh, conservation goals out here. This one wants us to have two, four, or five Australia icons in our zoo. This one wants us to have herbivore icons, and this one wants birds. But even though Australia is incentivized, we are going to go to America. So this is just going to go right here. There's no icons underneath it. And now I have an America icon, and... More importantly, spoiler alert, I get a three discount on all America icon cards that I play, and I, I have a couple of those in my hand. So yeah, I can just end my turn by cycling this stuff over, and you can go, Nick. All right. Um, well, I, I thought it was going to be really weird that I was starting with a three action, but you went ahead and did it, John, so I'm actually going to sponsor to start off with. All right. Um, and I'm going to sponsor this Science Institute, which doesn't do anything except for give me great science. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> so so far we're a university, not a zoo. It almost looks like that card isn't done. <laughs> yeah. Right. It just they like forgot to print the bottom part of the text. Yeah. But, but <laughs> two science there. is definitely nice. Like there's a lot of cards that need science prereqs. We're, and... we're doing this for the greater science. Yes. Yes, you are. Uh, it's you, Anastasia. All right. Well, the tension is already thick here because I'm also going to do an association action, and John, I was so concerned that you were going to partner with the same country that I wanted <laughs> to partner with. This will reveal itself. I was debating between also, I, interestingly, also taking science. Um, I'm, I'm using a five here, but uh, I was 
going to either do a four or three action, but I'm going to actually copy John and I'm going to partner with Europe. All so. right. So we're all ignoring Australia right now. We're all ignoring Australia at the moment. Yes. I'm sure we'll come around don't, to Australia at some don't point. Don't worry, Australia. Well, uh, uh, yeah. So that's it. I'm going to just, I will put my worker up here. I'm getting the distinct yeah. feeling like the two of you actually counted your money at the beginning of the game this time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of mistakes we'll were made in the first game. Hoping to make <laughs> different mistakes today. <laughs> Just a bunch yeah. of beggars is. There's yeah. a lot. There's a reason that this is what you're watching and that is not what you're watching. But <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the, in the, in the Friendly Ties podcast. After yes, this. for sure. Okay, it's my turn again. Hmm. I know what I'm doing. I'm just not sure the exact order yet. I could totally play an animal right now, but I would love to wait until this got to the five spot so I could play two animals. Um, two is twice as good as one. And I think being efficient is probably going to be good. So in that case, I'm doing this stuff instead. I'm going to go for an animal's play. Part of me wants to wait until it's at five Ooh. to play two. But um, my animals are a little expensive. I thought I could maybe play multiple, even with my discount. But um, one of them's large, and I would not be able to afford the enclosure plus playing two down. So I think we're just going to go for this. Oh, wait. No, no. I can't do that yet. The one I want to play. Okay, never mind. I think I'm going to go for a build action. Um, one of my animals <laughs> I'd really like to play is uh, requires an enclosure that I do not have just yet. So uh, let's go for that. I'm going to build a size four enclosure. And I could put this down in a few different ways. It has to be touching a previous building, but there's a lot of options. And honestly, I haven't quite thought them all through yet. That would give me five money, which would be nice. Honestly, that five money is probably going to be worth it because this is going to cost eight, being four spaces. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right over here, cover up the five money. So um, I first have to pay for this. That's going to be eight. And then I gain five money back. All right, that's going to finish my turn. All righty. Uh, one of the lessons I learned from last game was that I hated having this association card at the top after the first <laughs> use of it. So I am yeah. I want to associate, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do cards first um, and wait for that association action. So we're going to advance the break token by two. Yep. And then I'm going to... Um, I don't think I want to snap anything. I don't think I'm excited enough about anything on this board. I mean, there's this very hard-to-play mandrel that's very appealing, but... Yes. That I'll I'll draw Quite three literally off the top. Very appealing, yes. And I'm gonna discard this card, which is just not gonna happen. And it's to you, Anastasia. We'll send my cards to the bottom. All right. Well, since I'm just copying everyone, I'm gonna copy Nick <laughs> and also take cards from the five slots. Um, I will say that you, Nick, you were just like, oh, I think feel like you guys counted your money before this game, and I was all like, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> and I. <laughs> well, you can I do it now. Like, I I have for the last while. You guys, I'm like, okay, am I gonna make it? Because I I I think I'm gonna scrape by by the skin of my teeth here by pure luck. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> um all right so i'm also not going to snap anything so i'm just going to draw three and uh discard one so i similarly did you already break me oh i'm nope, doing it right go. now for you yeah thank you all right so i break for two draw three and i will discard one over to you john well talking about counting money i am one money away from being able to play two animals when i can play two animals and i, I feel oh like no. that is the theme of this game that is like the <laughs> like, like arc let me tell Nova. you i'm one a, money short <laughs> yeah it'd be a really cool turn but um i don't think i should wait i think prioritizing that efficiency is is probably a mistake so i think i'm going to do something big and cool instead and hope it does not backfire so i'm going to do animals it's at three strength so i only get to play one and we are going to play this musk ox that has a requirement of an America's icon. And I have one because of this partner zoo that also gives me a discount of three. So that's only going to cost me 10. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. And now Sorry, I just finished reading the text of that card. Uh, sponsor magnet. I get to add all sponsor no, cards from the display no, to my hand. No, 
no, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, my God. That's why when this oh got revealed, God. I was like, wow. Cause that, I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So I'm just going to casually yoink all of these. I don't even. I haven't even read them. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming there's like, some good stuff in there. You're gonna be discarding a bunch because there's no yeah. way you're playing them all. <laughs> I mean, my sponsor is also at the five spot, which is why I realized I don't want to wait for animals to get to five to try and play two because I'm probably gonna oh. want a big powered sponsorship to happen. That I'm sure one of these is insane. good. Insane. Oh my god. No, like seriously, I'm not even kidding. John and I just played the exact same plan. I took this partner. Yep. I, like, like I have this card for Europe. Well, which you know, oh. we're, gonna flip, we're gonna flip four sponsorships off the board right now. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be totally oh my. cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's definitely That's gonna fine. be what happens. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> this musk ox also gets me five appeal, which is great. That's gonna get me up to five. And yeah, now let's click the button and see if Anastasia continues to be unhappy. Well, there's two. That's not bad. There's two. Mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I'll get over it. (laughs) Maybe those sponsorships are bad. Like Nick said, I have way too many cards. Finally, I have to put this lovely musk ox into an enclosure of size four or greater. And that is me done. You can go, Nick. All right. When you were talking about being a dollar short, by the way, John, I thought you were about to sponsor us for five and just like plummet us towards like end of round already oh. which i was not prepared for <laughs> yeah me too so i was, I was having like... a brief panic attack and then uh not an actual panic attack i should be dramatic i was just be i was like oh my god what's gonna happen and then uh all all of my anxiety just transferred to anastasia when you stole her board um, <laughs> yeah I'm and i was like just, just reading my cards i was like oh whatever john's doing something over there <laughs> <laughs> and i was like what is going on um okay i'm going to associate uh we are associating ourselves for science because this is a research university (laughs) y'all yeah where are the animals at (laughs) um they're coming they're coming i guess (laughs) maybe (laughs) yeah i actually haven't really decided yet you've taken two turns and you have four Micro, uh, research microscopes. That's impressive. I've taken three. I drew some cards. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure this is the best play, but this seems exciting. So that's what I'm doing. On to you, Anastasia. All right. Well, now that John has uh, messed up my plan, I or put a kink in it. I guess I should look. I, now it's now it's been revealed to everyone. I guess I should take a look at these sponsors, see if they're any fun. Um, mm, the penguin pool is cute. I don't know if it's good for me, but it's cute. Um, I guess I'm going to, I guess I, I guess I've committed. So I guess I'm going to stick with, I guess I've committed. I'm going to stick with where I, where I'm headed here. So I'm going to build, I'm going to build a five enclosure. Oh yeah. Big animals. Big animals. This is not going to be a small animal game, at least at this exact moment. Um, and then I'm going to place it here over the five money so I can build up to size five because that was a level five card. And that costs me uh, two times five, so 10 minus 10. But I placed it over the five, so I get five back. And that's going to be it for me. Okay, well, it's my turn to go again. And I think I'm going to build. Uh, I would love to sponsor, but I have a couple of sponsorships that require more than five strength, and I need an X token to make that happen, and I'd like to make that happen. So building lets me build one building, and considering the animals that I have in my hand, I think we're just going to do a size one enclosure, a cheap little enclosure. That is going to go right over here, so shockingly enough, that gets an X token, Mm. which I really do want. All right, that's finished my turn. You should pay for it, though. Oh, details. (laughs) I am not loving the animal situation in my hand. I'm not really sure what to do with building. It feels really inefficient to build a one space with a five build action. So I think what I'm going to do is... Remind me what this icon is, The this one. Oh, yeah. That lets you draw a card from the middle of the board up to your reputation value. Mm-hmm. And if I don't want to, can I draw a random card? Yes, you can. Yeah, so with a reputation of one, that's just this one. But you can always draw a random one from the top of the deck. So I could just speculate big, which seems 
super dumb or I could take a really inefficient build action. Those are basically my choices right now. Because cards is bad. Animals doesn't really work. I might as well wait for that one. Or I guess I could pass for an X. That seems even worse. All right, I'm definitely taking the build action. That's what we're doing. And then I'm going to build a four spot. Five, six, seven, eight. This four spot's gonna go here. And I'll take five bucks back. Send that to the bottom. All right, there we have it. Go ahead, Anastasia. Okay, so my turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead, actually, and do the animals action. And I am going to play <laughs> this European bison, which is basically at exact the European version of John's yeah. muskox. It's more appealing, it's more expensive, and it has two Europe tags, so that's nice. It does. I'm going to go ahead and place it here in this five pasture area or zone. And it's going to cost me 19 money, which is basically all of my money. You get a discount of three on that. Ooh, I do get a discount of three. Because right. of your uh, Europe partnership. That's right. Okay. And then I have all the prerequisites. And now I'm going to gain six appeal. So that's going to take me from two to eight. And I will, I get to take all of the sponsors from the display, which is not quite the. It's not four. Cards. Not four. It's not four, but it is two. And uh, honestly, I'd, I'd prep for it. So here we are. It's coming out. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, that's it. Cool. We can refresh the display. And now I get to go. Well, I got the X token that I really needed, so I think let's sponsor. We'll spend the X, so that's five plus one or six strength. And we are going to play the Okapi Stable, which is something I kept in my starting hand during setup. It's, it's a bit of a funky one. Uh, right now, I'm going to place three player tokens on the card. Then each time I play a herbivore icon into my zoo, I may remove one token and play a sponsor's card from my hand for money instead of strength, which... Works out pretty well considering my hand is full of sponsors. But of course, that only happens up to three times, and I have to play a herbivore icon to make that happen. So I can do that. Bit of a strange card, um, but also I get to place a uh, the special size four enclosure for the Okapi. I feel like John is completely crushing us right now. That like that nope. feels so dope. It, no it, comment. It, it's working out pretty <laughs> well so far. If I'm being honest, I. Did not notice this bonus in the bottom left. I said it like I was expecting that, but I was just doing this for the main benefit. So now I need to figure out where to put this. Okay, I think this is going to be really interesting. If I place it like that, it's adjacent to one of my previous buildings. It's going to give me this bonus, which lets me draw a card from my reputation. And more importantly, it covers up that icon somehow already in this game, which is going to unlock another one of my assisted workers, which is awesome. So I get to take a card up to my reputation value, or I could go random. You know, John, you have this thing, right? Where you where you play games with exploration abilities, and you will always explore. Like if uh -huh. it, if the game the game invites you to take cards, take more of them, and play them inherently, yeah. you will do that. Or that that's my that's that's a hypothesis that I have about you. In this game, I'm going to put out there in the world that John is can only play this game playing tons of sponsors that is like his, his, <laughs> yeah so even it, if he tries not to invariably the game he will find a way in our first just... game i played more sponsors than than animals it's true it's true and, 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 in I, this and case, I came dead you, last <laughs> you even played the sponsor card that lets you play sponsors i know it's 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 kind of coming together we'll see if it actually does yeah. uh so <laughs> the card i could take is sea cave Let's me release a reptile into the wild, but I don't have any plans of even getting any reptiles, so I'm just going to take a random card from the top. That is... Well, spoiler alert, it's not a sponsor, so you'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, the rest of us, like last game, I couldn't draw a sponsor card. If <laughs> to save your life, because I had all <laughs> To save my life, yeah. All right, Nick, right, you would... can go. Okay, I'm taking the build action. I'm spending two bucks to build a one enclosure. 
where I build it is the interesting question. I think I have time. That's my turn. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sponsor. I'll play this sponsor for five since it's up here. I may regret this and still end up doing nothing turns until we get to a break, but uh, I'll go ahead and play that. I don't have any small animals, so I yeah, don't Normally gain... that would get you what it would it would get you one Give appeal one for every appeal. small animal. But yeah. Right. I don't have any small animals, so but it will make future small animals cheaper. I am sort of regretting not keeping my petting zoo animals, but you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's, <laughs> it's fine. fine. Um, that's going to be it for me. All right. I get to go, and I think I'm just going to do a cards action. I could snap or draw three and discard one. I'm not sure which of those I'm going to do just yet. I'm moving your break for two. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, this would be a great card for Nick. It needs four microscopes. <laughs> I feel like Nick already has a card in his hand that needs four microscopes the way he's been playing. Yeah, it, it does definitely seem that way, doesn't it? So it's actually, uh, I want to point out that 10 out of these 112 cards have interactive abilities, like this constriction right here, which messes with other people. Um, the designer on BGG said that as a, a Care Bear variant, instead of doing those, you could just do the solo option at the bottom. Um, and that's how we're going to play this game. We played the first game with the meanness, and we're going to play this game with the niceness. I'm not actually probably going to take this Anaconda. Actually, I might. Interesting. It requires a America's partnership, and I have that. But if I played this, I would do the clever ability at the bottom, saying I could put any card on the one spot instead of doing the constriction against you know Nick or Anastasia. Yeah, we'll definitely share a little bit more our feelings on that, the, the mean cards uh, in, in Friendly Ties after this. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'm going to take the Anaconda. The fact that I already have the uh, restriction for it in hand, I think it makes that better than a random card from the top of the deck. I have so many cards in my hand. But either way, that'll go there. And that is going to finish my we'll wait for you. turn. I really do. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, please, put, force a break, Nick. Force a break. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm playing animals. <laughs> I had yeah. an awful yeah. other turn just to do this. I know. All right, even still, it's pretty inefficient as I'm going to play this one and this two into my one and three pasture, but uh -huh. stuff needs to happen. So it's going to cost me 19 bucks to play the both of them. Um, and I'm going to get, this one is going to bury, uh, which one should I eat? Shove a card into your wombat pouch. I don't think I'm going to get predatory. So the wombat's going to eat the wolf, which, you know, is awesome. Um, <laughs> the Australian wombats, they might be common, but, you know, they still mess with those Terrifying. European wolves. They don't, they don't care about them. Um, so I'm going to get a net total of 10 appeal for this uh, to at least be doing something good in this game. Yeah, um, and that really increase your income for when the first break happens. Yeah, whenever that's going to be. So this goes to the bottom, and then because my Tamarin is clever, um, it's going to make something else go to the bottom. And because not every... Ooh, I uh, cheated earlier and didn't actually put my worker out on the uh, oh, yeah. university thing. But since I have no workers, as you can see by the fact that there are no workers here, um, <laughs> I hate this association card. It can, go, it can go straight to the bottom of the can. See you later. <laughs> so clever. And that's my turn. Go ahead, Anastasia. All right. Well, I am continuing to feel a wee bit stuck here. I I guess I've got my association up top here, but I don't have a worker, so it's just kind of clogging my row. I guess I'm going to break for two and take cards. This is as high as it's going to go. I, two I, cards, yeah. Yeah, I could move this to the bottom, uh, but and take an X token, but that just seems lame. So I'm going to do this and see how it works out for me. And I got I... your break. So we are now Perfect. four away from the first break where we can all get some much needed income <laughs> into our lives. All right. Well, I'm going to associate with my extra worker that I was able to unlock. It's a, yeah, it's a strength five. And technically I could go here because I have two herbivores. I could go there and get two conservation, which there's an argument to be made that I should do that right now, but I think I would actually rather go here and take this to increase yeah. my hand size to five because I have so Heck many yeah. cards in my hand. That's so good for you. 
Yeah, so that'll go right here. That increases my reputation. The fact once. that you had two incredible choices to choose between, like both of those are amazing. Yeah, yeah. My reputation goes up once, which doesn't have an immediate effect, but now if I can pull cards from reputation, this one is available. Okay, um, I'm doing the thing that I planned for, which is sponsors to play a medical breakthrough, which yep. I'm realizing in retrospect, I probably should have planned a little differently and tried to, I don't know, get a get like a thing so I could get some appeal, but whatever. This was the exciting plan. We're doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, because so if I've you got... had conservations uh, uh, cubes down, you get two appeal for each and you don't have any. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't give me anything, but now I have an income of a conservation every uh, break time. Which is, I mean, now's the time to do it before we have, have yeah, even our first it's, break. It's, it's really strong. I don't know if it was worth all the work that I put into it. I, I kind of wonder if it was like yeah, the plan that you had in the first game, but uh, it seemed exciting. Yeah, cool. There we are. Go ahead, Anastasia. All right. I will sponsor. I'll take two money. And I'll pop us up, too. All right. We're two away from the first break. All right. It's my turn. I'm going to do animals. I could play two animals. Technically, I can, but I cannot afford to. But we are going to go for an anaconda. This is going to cost all my money, 13 minus 3, because I have the America discount. I have to put this into a enclosure next to water, which I can. Uh, again, we're playing the Care Bear rules, so that's going to be the, the solo thing at the bottom. So after this action, I can place any card on one, and then I will get 6 appeal, which takes me from 5 up to 11. So actually, I, I get to do this uh, clever action before Nick gets to go. I can put any action onto the one space. All right, now I'm officially done. Okay. I'm taking the break action or cards action, I guess, is really what's what I'm doing. So um, I, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this, by the way, because last game I discarded cards every single round. I, like, should have taken the hand, the, the, the university with the cards at the beginning of the game and didn't think about it. And this time I'm actually doing it perfectly. I'm drawing cards and will discard down to the three that I will have in my hand. So yep, I'm like... Yep. I'm feeling very juiced about this. Nice. I guess I could snap as well. I am tempted to snap this science museum here, but I really need animals. Yeah, and Anastasia and I aren't taking that away from you, I, I don't think. Yeah, I'll so still I think be you have there. opportunities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get nervous when I play with the two of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so I draw three cards. Um, I'm going to discard one. Um, I guess we could really start going to the break if we wanted to oh, yeah, we get so an x right for going into the break that's you true did? yeah the person who goes oh, onto the last spot that. gets a bonus x so yeah, the break has set it been up triggered and oh we'll do that once God. you're done with your turn good cards i drew i drew a card that is going to completely morph the texture of this game for all of us oh wow that's a statement <laughs> that is a statement yeah. <laughs> wow you're, you're gonna see it's gonna be exciting when i play it <laughs> I think I'm going to discard this rock python because I have no reptiles and no plans on getting any reptiles. Okay. Um, and so then let's do this break thing. Break so time. Got my egg. Yep. Now we all discard down to three cards. Uh, I get to discard down to five because of this nice little bonus here, but I still have to discard a bunch. Yep. As it turns out, when I was like, oh, I'm going to save this really hard card and maybe I'll play it. Yeah, it's going. Goodbye. <laughs> Just, right. you know. I somehow have eight cards, so I have to get rid of three of them. I think this one's great, but it's going to take it forever to complete, so we're not going to go for that one. This is tough. I have all these sponsorships, and I even have a fancy way of maybe playing some of them for money. But I also have other good cards in my hand that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. I really, I really wish we felt sorry for you right now, and I know that we can't <laughs> see your hand, but I just, I don't. It's not, it's, You're you can't quite get there. For. You can't quite get there. <laughs> It's a little tough with your two workers and your 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 ability to easily play sponsors. And yeah, yeah, it's true. It's a little a little hard. I'm gonna get rid of one of these over here. This is tough. This is really tough. I should probably. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this one right here. Okay, down to five. 
Okay, now we would get rid of any mean tokens or the 2x tokens, which are like a bonus token that certain cards give. And we might see one of those. None of that matters. We can now reset that association board, much to the happiness of everyone else. Oh, you already did. You cleared all those off. Nice. Did it. Gave everyone our workers back. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Two, the first two cards clear off. So then no the rest of these those. will slide down. You can click the button, Nick. Boop. And then we can take our income, which comes from a variety of different spots. The first thing is we get one money for every occupied building next to our kiosks. So I get two money for that. I say the first thing. Technically, the first thing, I guess, should be the money from these tracks over here. So Anastasia is going to get 11 for that. Nick and I will both get 13. I also got two extra for my um, kiosk. Right. And then, Nick, you get a conservation point as part of your income because of this medical breakthrough. Hooray, medicine. Yep. One away from a really nice bonus. <laughs> all um, right. Are we all good on income? Yeah. I'm Great. still very poor and can't do anything. It's going to be fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. I've got a long well, con going. It's a good thing this is a long game. It's true. Not it's worried true. about having time. <laughs> well, it's your turn, so uh, we'll see what you get to do. Okay, so I'm first, and we actually just realized uh, that this is a double tag. Therefore, this bison, because I have this partnership, should have only cost me... 13 instead of 19. So I actually have three more money at the moment. And you should have for a is, while, but, um, you know, we fixed it now. Yeah. <laughs> so take some of my complaining previously with a grain of salt um, that I, I could have possibly built uh, before, uh, you know, and, and done a couple of things when I had slightly more money, maybe got another animal down. But here we are, and I'm going to hopefully make good now. Um, the problem is I'm still, <laughs> I'm still a dollar short. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe $2. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So I'm a little, a little short, but I think I'm going to actually just get rid of this association real quick up here at the top. Um, it's high up here. It's five. Ooh, I really wish that I could get one of these down. I mean, I can't obviously, but it, it is interesting this game that you be fun to get some of this stuff going um but the cube income and whatnot yeah yeah like just to, or even just some of these great bonuses um yeah getting the income going early seems like it would be exciting your one herbivore um, token off yeah if there was the europe what, scoring one that would have been amazing but no yeah wouldn't i know seriously right so i'm gonna just think really quickly now that i do have that extra money still frustrating because I only have the one worker and I really need two reputation, but that just seems so lame for where I'm at. Oh, oh, I take this agreement. Yeah, yeah, can definitely. can take the two reputation. What are, the, what are these called again, John? University uh, partnerships, I think. University partnerships, right. Okay, so I could take that and that might be really fun. Double checking my hand real quick. Okay, let's get started on this long con here. So... I have no idea how I'm going to make up the money here for this. Ooh, I can sponsor for money. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this university. No bonuses immediately. And no bonuses immediately. It is interesting to note that I could have, could have done a flip, which is curious. If you had placed a zoo partnership there, you wouldn't have gotten yeah. a reputation, but yeah. But... I could have flipped my animals per se, uh, and that that does give reputation on the five strength. Yeah, which is an interesting. There's a lot of little interesting paths to take here, but you gotta kind of commit. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will move up two, so I'm up here at three, and that was a lot of thinking for what ultimately is a very <laughs> simple action. You're setting things up. You do have to send your uh, worker over there, though. I do oh, have to part with my worker, alas. All right, that's it. All you, John. This game is definitely not light in the AP. <laughs> Lots of things to think about, that's for sure. All right, I think I'm going to do a sponsorship action. Uh, I do have this 
uh, Okapi stable that lets me spend money for sponsorships instead of strength. But spoiler alert, I don't have any herbivore tags in my hand. And I don't see any on the main board. So I have no idea when I'm going to get another one. So this is going to be a four strength one. And I think I'm just going to put this water playground out. That will get me four appeal. And I can put that size two water playground down. It does have to go next to water though. Here is the water slide. And now I can place this somewhere. Getting an X token would be nice, I suppose. As a touch water. It does have to touch water. Thank you so much. I guess I could just take 10 money. You know what? I think 10 money is going to be worth it. Yeah, let's just go for it. So I'll place right over there. Water parks next to that. 10 money and I get four appeal. So I go up to 15. All right, Nick. So here's the, here's the jam that I'm in, right? Is that I, I really don't want to be building an animal zing multiple times. I don't have the money for it. I don't want association multiple times because I don't have the worker for it. So the question is, like, how do I get these to the top? And so the debate was, like, do I just start off by, like, Xing at the beginning, sort of not knowing how long things are going to go on for? And I still don't even know the answer to that question. I think what I'm going to do is draw a card off the deck to help give me a little direction. So I'm going to spend six in the build action to take a, uh, a petting zoo. Yeah. Which I will place here, which will get me an X token and a random card off the top of the deck. Plus, I want that South American Coty. Okay. Yeah. Let's take this. We'll do okay. the, the thing that I think is weird, and hopefully it works out okay. So you took from your reputation, which I guess was just that card. Yep. All right. <laughs> did you take your X token? Uh, I did not take my X token. Thank you. Seeing that card off the top of the deck, I am filled with regret. Oh, you could have drawn <laughs> that. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> All right. I've been doing a bunch of math in my head. Thankfully, this game, for all of its AP, gives you lots of time to AP what everyone else APs. So <laughs> I think I'm going to build. Not that that's going to make me take my turn any faster. And if I have calculated this correctly, I should have... Just enough money to build a three. And that's what I'm going to do. So even though I'm doing a build five, I'm actually only going to build a three. I was just about that life, so I hear you. Going to build here and take an X token. and a co I'm basically copying what Nick just did. <laughs> Very similar to my turn. It was, it was a good turn. It was taking, a good turn. Taking Nick's turn. Granted, so. you're, you're building a real animal enclosure, and I'm building this like bogus petting zoo enclosure, which I'm not happy you know about. What? Don't, don't hate on the petting zoo. I, I just want to point out. I am hating on the petting zoo. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Deeply biased against the petting zoos. Nick. He's got something against small animals, cute, furry, pettable animals. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> this is a very legitimate strategy. He'll probably win with it, and he'll still talk. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna get X token, and I'm gonna take a card off the top of the deck. So, awesome. That will be my turn. All right, so I get to go, and I'm in a slight pickle because the build's on five everything in my hand is satisfied with what i have out here already so if i build something i'm building blind i'd really rather draw cards first but the card draw card is way the heck down there as someone whose first build was blind i have zero pity for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah poor john everything he's complaining about in this game we're like mm. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that you know, I think I'm going to go for the cards. Even as Ooh. it is, I'm just going to draw one card from the top of the deck and then break twice. I, I'm, I'm breaking it twice. Okay. This is the card from the top of the deck. And is it cheap? <laughs> it's um, it's not an animal. Well, technically it's a mammal, I suppose. Anyway, that's going to finish my turn. I really don't know what to do with the statement. It's not an animal, but technically it's a mammal. <laughs> it really terrifies me, John. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I'm going to make an association because we're the smart place and we, we make associations with smart people who do smart things. And that smart thing is this thing, which will give me one reputation. And uh, 
Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, no, I get to flip something. I'm flipping sponsors. Oh, yeah. Nice. Flipping sponsors. That's interesting. I don't think anyone did that in our first game. That we that is a large part of the reason why I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. So strength plus one, and it doubles the money value. So you're much more incentivized yeah. to, to to do the second thing for breaking. That's interesting. It's actually pretty powerful. Like, and it does, I think, will uh, contribute to more breaks, which would be really interesting. That that ability to yeah. double that money is really yeah. kind of curious. We'll see how Nick uses it. All right, I am going to also break for cards. Mostly because it's going to let me move my sponsors up a level. And uh, yeah, because I am. Uh, you got my breaking, Nick? Not yet. I'll get it for you. Thank you. Sorry, I know I've been the break master. You have been. Um, okay, so I get to draw two. And that will be that. Watch, I, awesome. we've, we've all gathered all these cards and Nick is now going to break us and <laughs> have to discard down. Well, I can't break for eight. <laughs> yes. Not yet, anyway. So I drew last turn, hoping for a cheap animal to try and work this up and get two animals down, and also to give me direction on what to build. And then I drew a, uh, I drew a sponsor card. You'll never believe it. And it's got a person on it, which is why it's a mammal. So I still don't yeah, have direction. Yeah. I still don't have direction. <laughs> it's like can't stop, won't stop with the sponsor cards over there. <laughs> it, yeah, they just, they just keep coming. I think I'll just do the build. I really want to get association to five to probably do a conservation. So I got to get this out of the way. I don't have any X tokens. So I'm going to build something. Uh, it seems like a waste to build something tiny with a five activation, but I am not sure what else to do. I also don't want to spend money willy nilly because I do have cards I want to play in my hand. I wish there was a one by three, <laughs> but there is not. <laughs> I have multiple times, you just said you wish there was a one by three, right? Yeah. Like, I have multiple times been like, there's a one by three, right? I can place that here. It's like, no, 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 you, no. Yeah, you really can't. No, you can't. The polyanimino, well, polymino, poly something of this game is very interesting in as much as like, it, you don't really think of it as being a massive part of the game, but it really is. It's, it's quite the puzzle. Yeah. All right. I think this is weird, but I just don't want to whiff. So I think I'm going to build a size one with my five Whoa. activation. What? Which what is, is what awful. Is, what does whiffing mean? Well, I don't want to build like a size five and then, you know, have wasted all that money. Just have wasted the money. And yeah, I figure I, I could go it. the middle yeah. and buy like a size three. But then, uh, you know what? I should probably, I should probably do a three just to play it just in the middle of the that's road. A, that's I, what I'm, I did. Yeah, I didn't want to waste having a level five. I'm worried I'm going to be yeah. like, you know, one money short after doing this. But, you know, that, that was the breaks, I suppose. But so then you'd this... be able to like build onto this maybe and get the 10 money. Yeah, so. that's possible. So I'll go here, I think. I could go the five money, so. there as well or there, which is functionally about the same. I guess I could do something like this, but I really want to draw a card is the thing. And I was thinking about drawing this card right here. It's a size one. So it's like, I'll just build a size one. I'll put it on top of this spot here and then draw that card and know that I could play it there. But then that card potentially draws you another card. But I, I don't know. Maybe I should go for a little bit more risky, I think. Yeah, we'll go right over here. So that's going to cost me six. I hope I don't regret this and I'm going to draw the top card off of the deck instead of going for my reputation value. And <laughs> it's a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my like uh, <laughs> spoiler alert anyway all right how many there there i just want everyone to know there's 154 cards in this deck and i don't know what the breakdown is but i every time every more time. of them are animals than sponsors it, it's true <laughs> anyway that's my that turn john draws sponsors it's true speaking it's true. of sponsors i'm gonna activate oh. this sweet upgraded sponsors card oh my gosh what? I am going to do it to play a sponsor card from the board. <gasps> oh, right. What? From the reputation range. <laughs> That's right. Um, I was having a very brief heart attack that you were about to take my card, John. I was like, don't say anything. <laughs> it's, it's, well, don't speak don't it do into it. existence. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I had to pay for this, right? It's Does it cost two because it's in the two yes, slot? Yes, it costs you two money because it's in the two slot. Yep. 
We we literally never did this last game. We so. didn't. We didn't. That's that's snazzy. Why do you have to pay for it? Oh, you have to. You have to pay. Oh. It's it's like tier. Yeah, it's an yeah. additional cost. Oh, the before I can, before I execute the rest of this action, can I just say when I when I took that single card there, the reason I did it was because I wanted this to slide into the spot so my pathetic reputation could allow me to take it. That was that the makes whole. Sense. That yeah, makes sense. That was the whole thing with it. Huh. Um, okay, so I've got the research tax for this. This says each time you play a research icon into your zoo, gain a conservation, which I will Ooh. gain. Yeah. And I'm also going to count up my things and get money. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get 12 bucks for this. Wow. What? And that I'm going to get a worked. conservation point, this bad boy. And uh, we have all seen how great um, these people are. And of course, I, again, did not put mine out. So you can't see that I have none currently <laughs> available to me. So I'm going to take the extra person bonus. Uh, and I'll it take it from the, from the correct side. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted the, the cool. extra conservation points. Um, <laughs> okay. And that's and so now every time I do a research tag, I get, uh, I get an extra point. conservation. That, that was good. Yeah. So that's my science museum. We're that medical, was a great turn. We had a medical breakthrough. We have we, people come here for the science and the university. Right. And then also, of course, our common wombat that ate a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the medical breakthrough, by the way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. I just, I, can we just take a moment to look at Nick Sue here? All of that talk about the tiny animals. And it's just, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> this common just wombat isn't that tiny after eating a wolf. Just messing up your cards here. No, I'm just... gonna I'm gonna rearrange it to, to animals and uh, and science because it just feels more appealing that way. That makes sense. Also, the wombat has to be at the top because he is terrifying. He's the apex predator. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hopefully finally get some of my long con uh, executed here. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant sponsors. I'm gonna use up this X token. To be able to do that at a level five instead of four, which I need to be able to play this penguin pool finally. Aww. I know, isn't it cute? So you have three reputation? I do have three reputation. I worked real hard to get it. You did, yes, yes. And I basically what this is gonna let me do is I am going to get to take the penguin pool from up here. Let's hope that I've been planning with the right one. I get to place this somewhere on my board, which I'm going to do in just a second. Oh, I see where you're placing it. That's good. Uh huh. Uh huh. And each time that I play a bird icon in my zoo, I'm going to gain two appeal. And I just have to place this penguin thing. And it gives me a bird icon. Yep. Yep. I'm going to give you uh, your oh. two appeal. Okay. Ooh, I forgot that I get to appeal just for playing it. I always yeah, forget that. I that's just gave a... it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And now I get to place this down. And so my plan here, it's very difficult because it really would seem really I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna go over the ten money. And that's gonna give me the money to then play my cards, but it it is hard to let go of this uh You're close though. I'm close. You're close. I thought for some reason, it is interesting because you cannot flip these over. Right. So I'm sort you of can stuck. Spin them, but not flip them. Yeah. It would have been nice to be able to flip it because then I would have only needed to play a one here uh, to get, you know, to be able to take that. But uh, say la vie. One thing I want to point out is I actually, on my turn, I forgot to actually take down the six money uh, pay before we switched away. But I did in fact do that. So that's oh, good, not good. A, an error. Um, okay. So you gave me my point to give me appeal. Okay. I'm going to just take my 10 money and that is it for me. Nice. That's a couple of good turns from both of you. Yeah. Well, we got to catch up somehow. <laughs> well, I said I wanted the association at five, so let's do it. And I think we are going to do conservation. I currently have two herbivore icons in the old zoo. So I'm going to go here, which needs the five strength, and we're going to go on to herbivores. So I'm only going to get two conservation points, but it lets me get those uh, precious bonuses, which I think is going to be worth it. In particular, I also get something from here. I think it's really hard to not get the ongoing conservation bonus. Getting extra money would be nice, but I think I'm going to go for this one. So I'm going to place that right over here on the two spots. 
I'll get two conservation for this plus one for that, which means I rush into the lead with three conservation and I can flip a card or unlock another person. I swear, John is doing everything I want to do in this game, like two turns before I'm able to do it. <laughs> not, <laughs> not that I'd actually have been able to pull it off, to be honest with you, but still. And now I can, I think I'm going to flip over a card, but I'm just not sure which one to go for. Animals lets you get to two animals earlier and reputation, but spoiler alert, my hand is essentially all sponsorships. I could flip over sponsorship, which I guess would make it slightly easier to do that and potentially could get me more, more money. The association action, although, is pretty great. I've got a couple people and I can start spending money on those donations, which is pretty important. That being said, being able to build multiple things at once with the build action is huge. I think I'm going to flip the build action. I think... I think that's going to be the one. You know what? I'm going to go for association. I'm going to do that to potentially start getting some donations in. We'll, we'll see if this is a huge mistake. But either way, this is going to slide on down. And uh, that's going to finish my turn. Okay. So I am a little torn between YOLOing and doing a plan. I think I'm going to do a kind of boring animal's turn to just execute a plan. And... Even though I can technically play two, I really can't because ah, if I got lucky. Nah, whatever. My hand is garbage. I'm just going to admit it. Um, we're going to play something into my petting zoo. Yeah. Um, it cost me seven. Uh, it also has a pouch, just like the wombat. The wombat's yeah. going to teach it how to eat something. Um, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's going to eat the South American coati. So it's going to eat this bear that's bigger than it because that is the scientific, right? We're, we're some sort of mad scientist zoo over here, which is why my reputation is not great. Um, and that will be five, uh, five uh, appeal. appeal. Yeah, people, two for the pouch. People love seeing the, the, the murderous animals. Um, and that's that's my whole turn. That was a good one. No, it was it was whatever, but it lets me do the other good stuff. So that's that's really <laughs> what it was for. It was like when you built and you were like, I don't really want to build a five. It's the same with my animals. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna continue copying Nick, which is all I do in this game is just copy the rest of you. So I'm gonna also play animals. I'm only gonna I'm also only gonna play one. <laughs> And I'm gonna feel <laughs> I'm gonna feel middling about it. I know, but I, I'm actually very. I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm pretty anxious to make this move because I built my whole plan mm. up to this point. Do it, do it. I want to see it. And this mis this is a mistake I made in our last game that was very derailing. And if I read this card wrong, <laughs> it just like gives all the tension. Like, did I did I read this right? So, all right, I'm going to play this one animal. You read it correctly, for what it's worth. Oh, thank God. Okay. So. Um, what an awesome card. So I'm going to place this down. It also has a pouch. So I will be, to use Nick's terms, eating two of my animals. No, no, no. Actually. Yours don't have the science that mine do. So it's putting it in its pouch like a normal yep. kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any of the research that my animals do. <laughs> okay. Then it's going to lovingly carry <laughs> this white rhinoceros <laughs> <laughs> and these free-range monkeys. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, I know. It's a big kangaroo. So, all right. So the first thing is, okay, let's let's do this in order here. I'm, I'm confusing people. Okay, so the first thing is the fact that I can play this animal at all, which is it's a flock animal for it can share the existing enclosure of another herbivore which is this one uh with four plus so this is a five uh um uh, enclosure animal it's also a herbivore so the bison and the kangaroo can hang out together in the five enclosure that i have already uh flipped those were both in your starting hand uh no they were not i thought that you were no. you were like i don't have a plan i was like this is an amazing plan <laughs> i know wouldn't that have been no, uh, but I did draw this fairly early on. Uh, the, the card of my starting hand I ended up getting rid of was a lion that I didn't play. Um, but uh, but these two and another card that I still have were what I was holding on to before the break. And I was like, okay, it doesn't matter what else I draw because this is, this is what's happening here. Uh, anyways, okay. So uh, then I had a pouch two. So I got to place two cards into it. So I get to go up four appeal. 
for doing that. Plus really seven. A, 11 total, right? Yeah. Plus, right, plus the seven for it, so 11 total. So I'm putting you up to 21. Huge. Amazing. Amazing. And I now have to pay for it and yes. be real broke and probably complain about that for the rest <laughs> of the game. Um, Breaks but I going. am really glad that I, that about we figured out that three money thing because I needed that to make all this yes. happen. So, yes, you did. Uh, that's going to be it. So I can't play another animal, so... Just the one and done, but I that guess it'll be enough for now. Also, it's a <laughs> it's like a herbivore for that one conservation project, and it's Australia for the other one. That's a that's a great card. Your turn, John. Okay. Well, I boy, do I have sponsorships. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Maybe I should have upgraded the sponsorship card instead of association, but hey, we are going to stick with it. I'm just going to play animals. Uh, I'm also going to only play one. Uh, I'd love to play two, but I just can't apparently draw them for the life of me. And we're going to play this Scarlet Macaw. It requires having a partnership with a N America Zoo, and we have a zoo in the Americas. That means I get a discount for that one icon, so that will cost 13 Then this is a pretty great ability, posturing three. Mm -hmm. Up to three times I can place one free kiosk or pavilion, which feels real good. And then I also get four appeal. we got to watch out for those... Those sponsorship cards. None of them give you end game points, though, do they? Not quite. Not yes. quite over. None of my sponsorship it. cards that I've shown so far give <laughs> end game points. Yeah. Uh, so now I've put down three kiosks and or pavilions. And let's see. I should definitely get at least one kiosk down. This feels like a good spot because it could be next to. You should flip like a, a one. That's right. This macaw sits in a one, so that's going to go right here. So yeah, that's a currently a two income kiosk, so that's good. Then let's toss a pavilion here. So that's going to increase the um, income of that in kiosk once, and then I get one more appeal, and then I can place one more down. And I guess I may as well toss a pavilion here. Gets me five money, fills that spot in. Gets me up to 21. Points are good. Five money gets me to 11. And I do not play another animal card because I don't have any. <laughs> All right, you're up, Nick. Okay, great. I'm going to take the association action. Um, and I'm going to send this this peep out here to take uh, an association with Australia. That makes sense. It's your second one. Very nice. And that's my turn. So uh, I was pondering just drawing cards because I need a direction, but I don't have one. But... Right now, I can only draw one card after the discard. Although I can discard two. You know what? All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take cards. I'm gonna break for two. Over here. Move it down to the bottom. And I will draw two. And I guess since one of the cards in my hand I don't really care about, I can discard that no matter what I get. So. Let's find out what's fun in here. I guess I should have looked before I did that. That was a bad decision. <laughs> okay, I haven't looked in my hand yet. I haven't looked. Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't want those. Okay. All right, it's my turn, and I'm going to sponsor. And I'm going to put this Technology Institute into play. So that gets me an X token immediately. I get an X token for income, and at the end of the game, if I get all three of these universities, I get a conservation point. So that's another little goal for me. So I get one X token, and that has finished my turn. Okay, I'm going to take the cards action. I'm going to snap this emo off the board. Ooh, double Australia needed. Cool. And it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to take the sponsor action and I'm going to play this level three sponsor who it would be really cool if I had a single bird in my hand. It would be amazing. I'm just going <laughs> to put this out there that I am so prepared to play birds and I am utterly lacking them. Uh, but uh, this will give me an income uh, required a bird to play, which I have. It immediately gives me one appeal for uh, my one bird icon from my 
Yeah, yeah, you should also take two more for the penguin pool itself. That's right. Oh, no, that's not. No, no sorry. This is not actually make a bird icon. Oh, that's true. This, has, this doesn't have any bird icons on it. Oh, that's so confusing. There's so many pictures of birds on that card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just not in the right places. Yeah, the icons only count when they're on the top. Yeah, on the right side. Part. I got it. Yeah. Right, there's a pool for penguins, there's a sponsorship for vultures, and meanwhile the kangaroos are running around like, what about me? <laughs> it's it's very clear that you're like um your conservationist or you're like the people that go out and like find what animals needed are just not talking to the the administration at your <laughs> at your zoo. All right. I could certainly use some cards because I would love to find animals for this zoo. So we're gonna do cards. To strength five, so I draw three, keep one, or I could snap one, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to draw three. This is going to break up two times. And yeah, I, I don't love these options out here, so I think I'm just going to draw three from the top. I do have to discard one now. So let's look at these. No sponsorships, so that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, these are pretty okay to have. Yeah, I, I like all three of those cards, so I think I'm going to get rid of something else. I have enough sponsorships, so this one is going to go bye-bye. You up, Nick? Yeah, I'm debating the Goo Goo Gaga plan. <laughs> the petting zoo? No, no, no. Maybe the Goo Goo Gaga is the fundamentally altering... It's just, yes, that's, the, that's uh, exactly... ...card yeah. that he drew. That will fundamentally alter the texture of the gamescape, yes. We are going there. It's just really, really helpful to the two of you as well. And so I feel like I should be sandbagging it. The My interest level is just is going I'm, higher and higher. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's really spicy, right? They, they <laughs> won't be let down. I mean, maybe they will. I don't know. <laughs> how, how exciting could it be? It's just, it's just me playing card in a board game, right? Um but I'm also just I'm also debating just like doing the sponsors and crashing the break token all the way down. Um, yeah, I'm trying we'll to decide if there's money. anything else I want to do before then. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Wish I had a way to just get one little appeal. One little appeal extra would be nice. That's just not gonna happen, man. I don't want to be building that much, so I should act activate sponsors. That's definitely the correct call. Can't play animals. I'm not associating. Definitely doing sponsors. If I'm the one who ends it, I get an X token. Great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break. We're going to go crazy with breaking. I'm going to take $8. Awesome. Technically, this break pawn goes over to Nick, so we remember whose turn it is. Sure. And uh, all right. So discard down to hand size. Minus five, so I'm fine. Then we get rid of any of these tokens, but I don't think we have any. Then we can reset the associate board. Thank you. After that, the left two cards will go away. You can see some new ones. I guess we can all pull our associates back. I only sent one of my two out there. I guess I uh, was a little bit too slow to make full use of having a second one. Also, I guess we just went pretty hard on the break track. And now we can take income. I'm going to get an X token. Then uh, Anastasia, you and I both get 17 money and Nick gets 15. These kiosks will get me one, two, three, four, five. And I think that is everything for me. Is it my turn again? Yeah, Nick keeps breaking. All right, Nick keeps breaking before I can do it. All right, let's see what we do here well i'm in the exact same position that i was in which is that i don't want to associate until i know what i want to do the thing that's interesting at this point is like i have i have already built two three enclosures and like i don't have anything to put in them so it's sort of like i i really do need to take cards but I keep taking cards so low that this remains stuck. So I'm just kind of torn on like just building something to build something. Um, but I was just trying to figure out maybe I should just pick one of these and like just wing it. All right. Uh, John, I'm going to associate. I'm going to create a partnership with Asia. Nice. 
And that's going to let me flip over a level two card. Yeah. And I'm going to put my person up there. I was pretty convinced that I was going to do cards because that would give me a lot more flexibility to draw a little deeper into this deck. But I actually think I'm going to do building because it is, it is very, I want to build some smaller enclosures and it's pretty limiting to be kind of stuck with just the single sizes. So yeah. we have all flipped over different cards, interestingly enough. Yeah. So um, I'm going to do that. That will give me a little bit more choice to build out with a little more flexibility onto this map. So that'll be good. Cool. All right. I think I'm going to do an association action and I'm going to spend an X token. So this is a value five. That is going to let me do a conservation action and I will be conserving with the herbivore breeding program, which I just drew. I'll put that over here. It says I have to have a herbivore and a partner zoo of the same continent. And that's actually the first thing I did. <laughs> I got a herbivore there with the Americas and I got that partnership zoo. So I have to put one of these down. And this is going to get me two reputation, which will bring me to here. So if I take the reputation one and get two more reputation, I could flip a card, which is pretty good. But I should probably go for the income ones. Snapping would be nice. This two enclosure for free now and in the future does sound pretty nice as well. Just for some flexibility. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. I don't think anyone did this in our first game. We're definitely trying new things in our second play. So I'm going to go up there. That is going to get me two reputation and two conservation points. So I go up to four reputation. The conservation points, oh, I wasn't even thinking about this. That crosses over here. So I can pull up up to three cards within my reputation value, or I could take 10 money or five money. And I think I'm just going to take uh, 10 money, and then this token will be removed. That will bring me up to 43, which is great. And then I can place this down somewhere. This turn's really turning into something. <laughs> Yeah. If you can make it work, this game just has some really interesting uh, chains that can yeah. kind of roll out. I think I probably want to do this. So I could put another free two on another income there, and then I could put like a pavilion or a kiosk there. So yeah, I'll go there. That covers up the X token. So I get one back, and then I'm not done because the association card is flipped. So that says I can make one donation. Oh, with your buckets of money over there. I don't even understand how you guys got so much money. <laughs> well, I just pulled 10 bucks from that bonus on the conservation track. So that definitely helped. Uh, I so yeah, I down and then I got eight extra from the break. Also, I've just been doing yeah. sponsorships, which don't cost money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this cube comes from the supply, not from the main board. And I'm going to put it over here. It's going to cost two money. And that'll get me one conservation point. Again, I can only do this once per association action and only because I flipped over that association card. So two money goes away, and then I get another conservation point. So that was a great turn. All right, I think I'm now happy that I went with association for my upgrade. I was I was regretting it for a minute there, but I think getting some early donations in will probably make it worth it. All right, I'm going to build for 10. Um, to build this here, which will give me 10. Very nice. Very nice. John, can you refresh me on bird aviaries? I can place them down. Remind me how they work. Uh, yeah, so they're they're on your board right here. You can only place them with your build, which you have. Yeah, so you just you pay ten bucks because they cover five spaces. You just put them down like normal. Um, they work like normal, except all all birds or most birds can be placed into aviaries. I don't even know if most birds. The one I have some. in my hand doesn't. This one yeah, can't. This garlic macaw cannot. So some birds. I think all reptiles can go into the reptile house, but only some birds can go into the aviary. Got it. Okay. Because there was something too, because you could combine ones you already had or something into there as well. When, when you play a reptile house or a bird aviary, if you have any cards in your uh, cre uh, animals already played that match that, you can you can house them there by flipping over their uh, enclosures and then putting cubes onto there immediately. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, well, I don't have any birds, so why do I need a bird aviary? So, all right, I'm going to do the build. Just going to keep copying Nick. I'm going to do the build action. Well, your build action's fancy. 
You get to do it. Yeah, it, it, it is fancy. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of things here. So I can go up to five. So let's see here. Okay, I'm definitely going to do a two and probably a one and maybe a kiosk and maybe a petting zoo. Now, don't, those are more than five, obviously. So let's not get excited here. Um, it would be really great if I could play two twos, but I can't. So, oh, well. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to, it's really this long con here, isn't it? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this two here first. So that is going to cover up the two reputation slot. So that's going to cost me four. And I will get two reputation, which is going to bump me up here. And that's going to go ahead and let me flip over a another one of my cards. And this time I am going to go ahead and do the cards action. So that's going to let me take, dig into the deck a bit more. Also just draw some... right from reputation range. Right. Yes. Which is also great. Um, so that will also be nice. And it will also let me snap a little bit sooner. So it just yeah. lets me dig in, dig into the cards a little bit more. And then the other thing I'm going to do here is, let's see, I'm out of five. So, okay, I could do three more. But just trying to be mindful of my cash, which is so much of this game, thinking through your cash and how much of it you have. And in addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and place this kiosk here now just to be clear john will this count as an enclosure next to it or not yes yeah these that count uh, the, the only thing that doesn't count is an empty regular enclosure everything else counts for kiosk scoring got it all right so that will cost me another one two then i'm going to go ahead and place this up here nice which will cost me another one two i may regret all of this in the end but you know what uh, it is what it is. Okay, so that, so I just paid for that. I covered up this. So we get Yay. to take a person from down here. Yep. Isn't that exciting? So exciting. And so exciting, right? And then the last thing is if I want to place one more for final two, just here, yelling at myself later because I'm like, I don't have any money. Pavilions are nice though. Pavilions are nice. Oh, that's right. I can't place a second kiosk, right? Like, Correct. They all have to be different. They all have to be different. That pavilion would... You know what? I, I am actually going to stop there. I... Okay. I'm going to hold on to that money. So You're too worried of future doing. Anastasia's wrath over those two I, money? I am. I'm going to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I already think I spent too much, but I want to grab that person. I'm, I'm sort of torn here to take this money, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the person and go with it. Cool. All right, it's my turn, and I think I'm going to do sponsors. <laughs> I know I got this card out super early where I could put sponsorships out for money, but I just can't find herbivores since then, and I don't want to wait forever on this. So sponsors at three is fine because I can play this card out, which needs at least one herbivore, and I have two of those icons. It's much like the thing that you played, Anastasia. I now get three, six, or nine money if I have one, three, or five herbivores, and I get one appeal for every herbivore icon, and I have one... Two. So, two icon brings me to 23, and that is it for my turn. Cool. I am going to take association. I'm going to drop an X to be a five. Send this guy out. Only if it's your own person. Right. So, if you can go there, even though John's there. Yeah, I'm more thinking, I feel like I'm going to do two associations this lap, and I'm trying to figure out what they're going to be. You know what? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the conservation action. That is what I want to do. Um, because I want the income cube. I think I'm gonna take. This is an interesting one. So I will take the conservation one, and I will pop it over here, 
on the herbivore breeding program because I have um, my herbivorous uh, <laughs> wombat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and we're making a lot of them. They're going to take over. Uh, so I score one, two, three of these, and I will take three cards. Uh, I'm going to take the Gould's monitor and two off the top, and then let's refill this display, and I'm done. Okay. Well, that kind of changed things. Yeah. Um, make my plans, and then you guys go, and it's all Oh, fun. that's right. Um, <laughs> you, the, you also have the herbivore. So you I could- did. I, but it's fine. I wasn't, I was, as usual, I was a few turns away from getting to do anything, so I really can't be complaining. There's something to be said for the one conservation, two reputation spot as yeah. well. Like, one of them is clearly better than the other. The other two, you know. I actually debated it a lot. Um, I can imagine that. Because yeah. if I went up to the next tier, I could have gotten that uh, that petting zoo animal. And that's actually quite appealing to me, but... I don't know. I just decided that the extra point was probably better in the long run. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes sense. The other thing, too, is I was looking at, I mean, the last game that we played, right, I was all the way up at the top of this track, which is awesome. But I don't think I'm flipping cards this game. So it's like, I don't really care that much how high I am on this track. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about how low I am in conservation points, though. I think I am playing a little bit of a longer con in terms of getting up there, but it's a little concerning. But... I think I could, I was going to play animals, but I can only play one. I think I'm going to leave that up there and just take three cards. I'll break for two. I'll take three cards. I could have taken four if I'd moved it up further, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I thought about snapping, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and grab three randoms and hope I draw some birds. And I didn't. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I need a like I need like a wingspan breakdown. Like how many <laughs> birds how many of this type? How many birds are those that? All right. I'm gonna do something I think it's good. It's a little funky. I'm gonna associate again. Considering the leverage of this upgrade it lets me every time I do it do a donation. I kinda wanna do this a lot. I wanna do it for three though, so I'm gonna get rid of one of my X tokens. And then I have three strength. And I do have one person to send out, and we're going to go over here, and I'm going to take the Australia uh, Zoo Partnership, partly because of this uh, conservation goal card over here, and also partly because I might have an Australia card in my hand. But honestly, another big reason for this is because I just want to fill this spot in. Uh, sure, I get an Australia discount, but I also can flip a card, and I really want to flip the build. Like, I'm not regretting flipping Association before, but I really don't want to do a level Strength 5 uh, build action and only build one thing. So I'm going to flip that over for that bonus. And actually, since I upgraded association, I can keep going up with these new partnerships. So that's something for me to keep in mind. And now I'm going to do a donation. That is going to cost me five money. And I get a conservation point, which means I can take one of these. And this is trickier. A three enclosure, three X tokens or five money. I guess it's not that tricky. A three enclosure is six money worth of stuff. And a build action, so I'm just gonna go for that. I don't John's have any planning on filling up that zoo. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely that seems to be what I'm doing over here. And I think, hmm, I would love to work down here to that reputation bonus, but this also fits so well up there. I have a hard time saying no to that. I don't think I need the reputation right now. I'm gonna go right up here. That fits nicely, and that will get me an X token back. And that will finish my turn. And uh, importantly, next turn, or at some point in the future, I can build with an upgrade. That was the main goal, but that was a pretty good turn overall. All your turns are pretty good turns overall, John. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to draw cards. So I'm going to break twice, and then I will uh, just, I guess, draw two and discard nothing. Um, I can't nice. draw from the board, right? I have to draw from the deck, yeah. Right, because this is not upgraded yet. One of those cards is great. One of them's garbage. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really okay with that ratio. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also. I'd love, I'd love a draw like that. Right. I have to say, yeah, I, uh, I have not been feeling my cards. What I've played, I felt good about, but the rest of them, garbage. John, I've got a point of clarification for you. Yeah. If I were to play two animals, 
Uh-huh. And let's say one of those animals let me take a card from the display or draw a card. Yeah. Do I have to play both animals before I do any of their effects? Or do I get to play one animal, snap or draw, and then play the next animal? You do everything for one animal. So if so if one animal draws you a card, you could play that set you could play the card you just drew if it worked better for you. Okay. They're they're, they're two discrete card plays. The only thing that's weird about timing is if it says after you finish your action, you have to do that once you've done all of the actions. Got it. Okay, so I am really regretting building this kiosk because it turns out I'm too money short. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is actually break for four and I'm going to take four money so that I have a healthy 19 there, which I believe... Done my math right, it's gonna be fine. I knew that was the risk. And did oh, did we already move the break chicken? No, we did not. Not yet. Breaks are happening much faster. Uh, which is which is nice. This game definitely has a good amount of variability. I would uh if you were cold on it the first time, I'd play it twice before you uh before you make an opinion. More on that later, but yes. Um, <laughs> just a little tease there. All right, I've been I've been setting up a big build action. I'm going to do it. Even though I have a lot of empty enclosures, I still think this is probably good if for no other reason than it moves animals up. Although I guess I could just use an X token to get a five strength animal action. I hadn't actually considered that until this moment. John is flush with everything in this game. He's got sponsors. He's got X tokens. He's got money. It's true. It's kind of, it's kind of working out pretty well. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is the right call, but I'm going to do it. So with this build action, I can do five, but I could go up to seven if I wanted. I'm going to start with a pavilion over here. So that's going to cover up two reputation, and that's going to cost two money. Two reputation gets me to six. That pavilion itself is going to get me one appeal. Next up, I'm going to build a kiosk onto this spot. That will cost two money. I can build up to three more things. It would be nice to cover up this reputation right here, I suppose. I'm probably going to put a free two size enclosure over there. I have a three over here. I'm a little worried if I need to have a humongous animal that I draw that's amazing, I'm not going to have room for it the way I'm filling this thing in. Actually had that happen last game. You did, yeah. You know, I think I think I'm going to put a four down over here. That's going to cost a strength token because that's placing six things and this is a five. And that's going to cost me eight more money. I don't actually have anything that needs that for, but it covers up the two reputation, which is great. And I just have so many enclosures in this zoo. I need to start filling them up and I am flexible. I think it's probably not the best idea to build enclosures that I don't necessarily need, but I did have the money and I don't know. We'll we'll see how much I regret this later on. Getting two reputation is nice though. That gets me up here and that unlocks yet another worker. And technically I could have done that with a size three instead of a four, but I don't know. I felt like using this. So yeah, this will head on down. And that was a big old setup turn. Ready? Yep. We're ready. Drum Do roll. it, Nick. Um, I'm taking the sponsor's action. Uh-huh. I'm going to use it to play a sponsor of level five. Okay. And I'm going to release the patents into the wild. What? Okay. So we're going to count up all my um, icons, my research icons, which is one, two, three, four, five, huh. six. I'm going to get six conservation, and y'all are going to get $12. Wow. <laughs> I mean, altering the very fabric of the game might be a slight overstatement, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, an influx of 12 money and then I honestly, Nick, I wish you'd done that one turn earlier before I wasted my sponsor's action to take $4. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got money. Then it would have really altered the fabric of the game. That is pretty wild, though. Wow. Six conservation is crazy. Three, four, Huge. five, six. Well, and it also is going to force us to, to choose now. Not only does he clear that yes. out, but now we have to, the moment has come. Yeah, we have to take one of our two scoring cards and get rid of it. For me, it's pretty obvious what I'm going for, at least to anybody who's looking at these. So I don't have much of a choice here. This one's going to go away. Well, thanks for the money, Nick. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
That was great. Honestly, don't even know if that was the right call, but it just seems so exciting. Oh, I, I think so. It. Six conservation is gigantic. Twelve money is nice, but six conservation is huge. Yeah, I I'm pretty into the twelve money. That I that is actually like completely. Well, we're gonna break soon, but that like totally revives my game a little bit here. Although technically, I had enough money to do what I'm about to do. Uh, are we ready to go? Did you yep. get rid of your? Oh, that, that's okay. me. Okay, so I am going to do um, animals. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play this veiled chameleon and I'm going to put him. So what he does is first he's going to go into a one slot. So I'm going to drop him over here and put him in there. He costs me... Technically, he costs 14, but because I have a partnership with Asia, he only costs 11, but he's also a small animal. Yep. So technically, he only costs eight. And he also lets me snap one card from the display. And shockingly, I just don't know if I'm going to take a gander, take a guess at what card here I'm going to snap from the display. The bird? <laughs> Uh, the Asian how bird? did you know? How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and snap this great hornbill, and surprise for my second action, a second animal. I'm going to play this great hornbill. Very nice. And I will place this in this two enclosure that I just built. And similarly, uh, because it is an Asian bird. And I have a partnership with Asia. And because of my expert in small animals, that is only going to cost me seven to play 13 minus six. So yeah. seven. And thanks to Nick, I'm super flush in cash. So, uh, And then in addition to that, I will get to gain two appeal because of my penguin pool for playing that. In addition to the 10 I get for the two animals. So uh, four plus six plus two is 12. And I will also kick up my income an extra three for that extra bird icon. So uh, let's take that 12 up here. So I go to 22 up to 34. And I do believe that is it. That, that's it for now. Engine is starting to come together a little bit over here. So, so very slowly still not doing any conservation but it will come all right so it's my turn and uh my opponents have graciously allowed me to slightly mulligan my build instead of doing a four here the smart thing to do if i had really analyzed my hand is build a three and a one so that uses the same amount of money and um i built all different types of buildings on that last turn so we're just retroactively fixing that a little bit of a cheat i, I appreciate it I, I could have done things as it was but this is a lot more efficient and smart so thank you for that uh now i'm going to do an animals action and for the first time in the game i'm going to play two i had these in my hand i just wasn't thinking about the fact that one of my animals is a size one so it really makes sense to have a size one enclosure for it uh so that one is going to cost six minus three because of the australia partnership so that's just three money and that is going to go right over here, which is next to rocks, which is necessary because that little rock icon over there. Uh, if I had a reptile enclosure, I could have put this in here for zero, which would have been nice, but I don't really have space for reptile enclosures anymore. Uh, next up, that is going to get me three appeal. And then I can do another card, and it's going to be this carousel. That's from Africa, so I don't have any discounts. And then I get four appeal. And I have to house this size two somewhere, and we'll put it here. And then Hunter two, I can reveal the top two most cards of the deck and choose one animal card and add it into my hand and discard the others. So one animal and two animals. Cool, so I can actually have a decision here. This Barbary Makaka is one of the mean cards. If I take it and play it, I'm just gonna do the sprint at the bottom because again, we're playing the nice variant of the game instead of pilfering cards away from each other. Uh, that pilfering effect was actually the, the, the most consequential one that we saw in our last game that we really didn't like. 
but I'm sure we'll talk about that in the uh, Friendly Ties episode after this. Well, this one requires a partnership with Africa, which I don't have, and this one requires me to have a Europe icon, and I don't have a Europe icon. I think I'm just going to take this stoat because it's cheaper. That will go into my hand. I may or may not play that one, and that is going to finish my turn. All right. Now I'm going to play animals, and I'm going to play the emu and the donkey. Emu's 19, donkey's 7, so that's 26. Nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The donkey gives me another X for these piles and piles of X tokens. I don't even know what I'm going to do with. And will score me uh, six tickets because I have another aminal of his type. And then the emu is well, going to Well, technically you get six because you should have two cubes in your petting zoo when you put yeah, one donkey it, down it, there. Yeah, that's the second one. Um, and then my emu is going to peacock its way into this large enclosure um, and give me a bird aviary, uh, which we will place like so. Nice. Um, I don't know if they intentionally made this look like an airplane, by the way, but it cracks <laughs> me up. <laughs> it's $5 and a card. So I'm going to get five bucks, and I'm going to take this coconut lorikeet off the board. And I should get seven appeal for this emu, uh, which puts me to 29. Lastly, Nick, you can only have five X tokens at a time, so you actually have too many. Oh. Well, in that case, I will have played the emu first and then played the coconut lorikeet instead of the donkey. Okay. Because the donkey was the thing that gave me the extra X. That's true. Oh, and so the, the coconut lorikeet also goes into the petting zoo. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, great. Is there a cost difference between the lorikeet and the donkey? No, I think all the petting zoo ones cost seven. Okay. Well, I find myself in the same position that I have been in already, which is that I really want to take a bunch of cards before I build or do an association action, but I can't seem to ever get my cards action up to the four or five slot where I could really kind of dig in there deep. Um, so I think I'm going to take a fairly weak association action because, well, I don't know if it's fairly weak, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. I got to move it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this association action. Go ahead and drop a worker up here. Now, I could place here because I have two birds. But once I'm on this card, I can't go on this card anymore. And Correct. I'm kind of hoping that I can maybe do a little better. Get some more birds, Let's yeah. Get a few more. And looking at this, none of them have enough birds to get there yet. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and place up here. So I will join the herbivore program. And... Yeah, you've got this European bison. And you have the Europe partner tag. So, yeah. Yes. So I... Let's see. It's sort of tempting to do these immediate actions, but... I'm kind of with John here that getting some of this income will be fun. Um, I really like the idea of getting the twofer because uh, just like John, it'd be fun to play that. But I think I'm so low on conservation that that's what I've got to take just to kind of get that game moving up. So I'm going to move that up there. Okay, so that's going to give me two reputation, which isn't quite enough to get another person, but that's okay. It gets me close gets me up there and then getting those two conservation points will finally finally what are we like (laughs) so deep into this game and i finally get up here um and this is either gonna let me take another person or flip a card and i think as tempting as it is to take another person i think that i'm going to flip a card and I feel like I might regret not flipping the animal card, but it is very tempting to flip the association card to be able to start making those 
donations increasingly and, more expensive donations <laughs> yeah <laughs> and to possibly split up my actions a little bit it's it's hard to say because i am tempted to do that you know what i take it back i'm not going to flip the association i will flip the animals and i'm just going to really hope that just gonna have so many animals to play that that's that's <laughs> gonna be my game. I mean, but we'll playing them from goes. the board is also nice. Um, costs a little extra money though. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my turn. All right, I can go now, and I think I'm gonna do an association action. I'm gonna spend a strength token to make this a four, so that I can go here. I can't go to into the, either of these other spots because I would need two of my own people. Uh, so I'm gonna go up here, and I'm going to take this token. I can put that right here, and that is going to cover up a card flip. And I am going to flip cards. Uh, one of the main reasons for that is because that lets me go higher up on the reputation track. I'd already have a bunch of reputation, um, so this is going to get me two more right now. And actually, I would need uh, to flip over the cards card to even gain that second reputation bump. So that gets me right over here, and now I can immediately draw a card from within my reputation range or from the top of the deck. And I would love... A herbivore, but those are being really shy right now, it seems. They're hanging out with the birds. Yeah. I definitely have three reputation for this, but I'm not sure that effect is going to be worth it. i got to be honest, I don't really like any of these options, so that break it can probably come sooner rather than later to, to dump a couple of these. I'm just going to take uh, one from the top of the deck. That is this one. Huh. Interesting card that I can't use yet but i will certainly keep that in mind uh, so now i'm going to do a donation the next one is going to cost five after that there are seven so i'm really spending a whole bunch of money here but that's fine so that happens i can place this here to get one more conservation point so i'm still behind nick but i'm keeping up pace somewhat all right that's me done with the association we've got three conservation so far from those donations so that seems pretty good a lot of money <laughs> spent on those though all right, I think I will take an association. I'm just going to go ahead and flip. You can't take a university of the same type, right? That's correct. Against yeah. The rules. Yeah, yeah. I will take one of these. Which one do I want? I guess Africa. And then I'll flip a card. So I have to ask myself if I'm actually going to build all this. And I don't think I am. I don't think I care much about this. So it's either animals or association. I think I'm relatively... Both of them require money one way or another. Association's <laughs> getting less attractive, I guess, as I'm eating up all the donation spots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I should make it harder for you. Maybe. There's something to be said for that. I think it is going to be association. Okay. So I'm going to have a real simple turn. I'm going to play cards, which means I'm going to break for two. Someone else can have the joy of ending it. And I'm going to get to take three cards and discard one. I don't think there's anything up there that I want because you know what's not up there? freaking bird. birds so. <laughs> or an herbivore at this yeah, point yeah herbivores would be good let for me tell you you too yeah there are, i'm going to tell you something there are herb herbivores and there are birds in this deck but they are at the bottom <laughs> they are not i'm shuffling i'm shuffling <laughs> they are not coming and i hope i just gave them all to john oh my <laughs> yes. god well now we can blame you after that shuffle so it's <sighs> good <laughs> shuffling is not allowed mid game I'm sure but I've done it I did it <laughs> there's no one doing it they couldn't stop me alright well I can go and I think I'm going to do a cards action as well so that's a break two it's in the fifth slot so I can draw four discard one or snap and we already decided last turn that I didn't like any of these cards so I think I'm going to draw four and discard one and the break two is going to cause us to have an actual break after my turn I'm just going to have to do some thinking. Huh. Well, I found a bird. 
<laughs> no herbivores. <laughs> oh, you kidding me. I'll tell you what, I was looking for an Asian animal and did not find any. Neither did I. At least you didn't draw more sponsors. Uh, I drew two sponsors. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Okay, I have to discard one of these. And we're about to break, so I'll go down to five. So I'm going to have to actually discard two of these. I'm just thinking for a second. For now, I'm going to discard this, although I'm going to have to discard another one. Honestly, I'm just going to discard two just to keep things, I guess, a little bit simpler. I think I'm going to get rid of this card as well. So once again, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself for this upcoming break. But either way, that has finished my turn. And now we can break, so we have to discard down to our hand sizes. And I am good, because I did that early. Nick is resetting the board. Two cards have been discarded. We can get more into the display. And guess what? No birds. <laughs> or herbivores. Uh, and now we can take income, which is quite a bit more interesting. I'm giving am... everyone their... Um... Their one conservation point. Oh, cool. Right. We all get one for that being removed. Sweet. I'm going to get an X token. And I have two herbivore symbols, so that's going to give me three bucks. Over here, I get 20 for the appeal. And then I have a Let's bunch of kiosks. That one's going to get me three. That one is going to get me three as well. And that one gets me two. So that is eight more. And I will get 21 plus 1, 2, 3. I also get to put a free size 2 enclosure down. I do not want to forget that. And I'll just put it right over here where it fits. All right. Um, I was the one to cause that break, so I should also get an X token for that. And I think we're good on the break. Good for me. Awesome. Nick, you're up. I'm up. Oh, snap. Um, I think I'm going to play a sponsor. Um, I'm going to play my expert from Africa. Um, I only have one Africa icon. You so have two, I actually, will... because you have this uh, partnership zoo. Oh, and, and she counts it herself. That's and the one it counts I was actually missing. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and that's that's it. That's the whole play. Okay. Um. All I want to do in this game is take cards. <laughs> if I just take <laughs> one card per action, I feel like at this point I need a different strategy because I'm getting kind of pigeonholed in my bird strategy here and it's not working. Um, You're not finding birds, yeah. Nor is my herbivore strategy. So I feel like I've got to pivot a little bit and do something. You know, while I kind of ponder that, I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do sponsors and I'm going to play this expert of the Americas and I'm going to play it down here. And what this does is it lets me, every time I play an Americas icon, I get to play a kiosk, including right now. So I'm going to go ahead and place a kiosk. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to do the classic thing, which is place it next to multiple enclosures and call it a day. I also get one appeal for an immediate action for placing that down. So I'll pop up there. And in the future, if I play anything with an America's icon, kiosks. I'm going to get to, uh, yeah, use a kiosk. And if you have five kiosks at the end of the game, you get a conservation point. That's right. Nice. So, that would be that. All right. I'm going to sponsor, and I'm going to use an X token to get up to six so that I can play this foreign institute that I've had for quite some time. And that one, at the end of the game, if I have, five, if I have all five of the continent icons somewhere, I get a conservation point. Uh, it also gets me a science icon and two reputation immediately. So this spot right here is going to get me a conservation point. And this spot will get me an X token. So I get that right back. All right, Nick. I'm going to play animals. I think it makes sense to use two Xs to make it a five. 
Um, so I'll play two animals, which are gonna be the secretary bird and the donkey. I have an association in Africa, so that's 11 and seven is 18. So I'll go to 21. And the donkey will give me an X. He will live at the petting zoo. The bird will live at the aviary. Um, and this will score me nine and four for 13 appeal. So 31 to 44. And then also a conservation point. Yikes. I do um, not like how far ahead you are on both of those tracks. Well, I just spent all my stuff, right? So That's true, I but I, I but should still. be ahead at this point in time. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. This will slide down, and then my expert on Africa will be like, hey, this isn't a building zoo. Send that to the crapper. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah because of the Africa icon on the secretary bird. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do a build action. Uh, Nick and John have been nice enough to allow me to slightly mulligan the uh, kiosk I just played um, and let me place it here, which has very little fundamental difference other than the fact that I realized I want to build a reptile ah, uh, and uh, enclosure. And that is the only place to fit it. So sure. that makes sense. Uh, I didn't quite realize that when I was thinking about what it was going to build so uh so i'm going to go ahead and place that here and uh that's going to cover up one the one card slot so i'm going to get to take a card but the other thing that this does which is kind of cool is that since i have this one reptile i'll get to flip this spot back over right you're essentially putting the veiled chameleon into that reptile house and since it has a zero on the reptile house spot, you don't even have to put a cube down. Which is awesome. Yeah. And then that so, costs 10 money and you get a card. That's right. So 10 money and I get a card. At this point, I'll take a reptile or a bird or <laughs> herbivore. Oh, well, it was What'd one you of find? those. It was one not of those? A bird. It was not a bird and it was not a herbivore. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're leaving us in the dark. Yeah, I'm leaving you in the dark over there. All right, it's my turn, and I'm going to play Animals, and I'm going to spend an X token to turn that into a five strength so that I can play two. I'm going to start with this Greater Flamingo. That one goes into a size three enclosure that needs to be next to water, and I have that right here. Uh, that is from Europe. I don't have any discounts for that, so that's just going to cost me 16 then posturing one says I can play a free kiosk or pavilion. And I'm definitely taking a pavilion because points. I don't have an obvious place to put this. I guess I'll just put it right over here. Uh, maybe I'll go right there. One That's going to get me an appeal, bringing me to 32. And then this flamingo is going to give me seven. So I go up to 39. And then since I spent the next token, I can play another animal. And I'm going to go with this stoat. That's a size one. It requires Europe, and I just got a Europe by playing that Flamingo, so that worked out really well. Um, I'm just going to shove it into this two. That's going to cost me four money. And then my Hunter one, reveal the topmost card. If it's an animal, I keep it. And let's see. Hey, it's an animal. Ooh, that's a very interesting animal that I'm very happy to have in my hand. Uh, then I also get three appeal for this, so I go up to 42. All right, I think that is it. And so we're going to do cards. Yeah, because I need to know what I'm going to do before I start throwing money willy-nilly. So break two, draw three, discard one junker. And I'll discard this North American card. Okay, go ahead, Anastasia. All right, well... I sort of want to make a agreement with the Americas because I have a couple of Americas cards to play, but I'm getting a little concerned about Nick creeping up over there. So you can't actually make an agreement with the Americas because you need a level two, a leveled up association card. Ah, well, I can't make an agreement with the Americas even if I wanted to. So <laughs> I'm so glad. Um, 
it is amazing how much time you can spend working through different machinations. Like I also was thinking about going to university. I'm not sure, but you know what? I'm just going to play some animals and, uh, and, and see how I feel about associating next turn. So I'm going to play some animals. Uh, first thing that's going to happen is because I have upgraded my animals and I am uh, using the five slot, I get to take one reputation, which is great because it's going to let me make another person. So I've got some, some choices when I ultimately decide to uh, use my association. And yeah, okay. And so now I'm going to play two animals. So first animal that I'm going to play uh, is going to be this frilled lizard. So let's see, let's place him over here with my other lizard. So he is going to cost me, he would cost me 12, but because I'm an expert in small animals, he's only going to cost nine. So let me pay for that. And I'm going to go ahead and take a cube and place him in my reptile enclosure. And he's going to let me draw a card. So let me draw that and see what I get. Oh, that's fun. Okay, yeah, I totally can't play that, but good to know. Okay, and then the second card I'm going to play is going to be, I'll just put him over here, this Ecuadorian squirrel monkey. Also would normally cost me 12, uh, but because I'm an expert in small animals, he's only he's also only going to cost nine. And I'm going to place him... I guess I'll put him over here in this three enclosure because that's what I've got. And he also lets me, yep, he's going to let, but, well, first after, okay, yeah, so I get to take 10 appeal first off. So that's going to take me from 35 to 45 keep that appeal track hot and then he's gonna let me put a card on the first slot now john i move my other cards and then do that correct yes correct okay so first i'm gonna freshen everything up here and then i'll go ahead and move sponsors down to the bottom uh, I almost forgot that the last thing I get to do is take one kiosk for playing another animal with the America's token. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, this is, oh, no, it has to be two away from the other yep. one. So I'll, I'll go ahead and place it up here uh, on the five money. Nice. And just grab that. It's interesting. Like, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to figure out what to do on my turn. I have lots of good options. And part of me wants to do an association action and throw this X away in order to do it now because that gets the it down here faster so that it grows faster to do more of them. And, you know, I think I just convinced myself. <laughs> Let's go for it. So I will do that. I'm going to spend this X token to do it. Um, and uh, that gets me to five strength. So I'm going to be doing a conservation project. And the question is, do I go to Australia? Which I could, because I have two Australias. I have a couple of birds as well. And I have a mystery card in my hand that does seem pretty interesting. The two slot on Australia and birds are open, though. I could do the one in my hand later, hypothetically. So maybe swooping in on these when they're difficult is a better idea. You know, I think I'm going to go to the bird spot and do my fancy card that I may or may not have in my hand later on. I'm going to send this out. That's going to give me two reputation. This is going to get me two conservation. I, of course, have to send my person over here to do that. The two conservation gets me here, so I'm still lagging behind. And then the reputation gets me a card and then another conservation. So I'm actually not really lagging behind by much anymore. I can take any card now um, because my reputation is all the way up here. And I really want a card with an Asian icon on it. And there aren't any out here. So I think I'm going to go random and hope for the best. Here is the card. And no, no Asia. Dang. Oh, well. Uh, so that almost finishes my turn, but I can do a donation because this is upgraded. 
So I will spend seven money. And now I'm tied with Nick, and I'm just two back on the track. So I'm feeling pretty great about that turn. All right. Now the association goes down, and hopefully it can grow up quickly because I'm out of X tokens. I will take the association action. I will mm. spend seven, five, I six, seven. I don't think you want to. I don't think you really want to do that. To <laughs> do that for one. And I'm going to take this. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to do that. That's fine. Going to <laughs> score me three conservation points. Why three? Two for that and one for research. Yeah, the science museum, which he played a very long time ago. Nick's science game is so good. It's pretty good. Well, I was close to Nick on that track. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm also going to take the association action because y'all are just scaring me. And it just, it actually feels really pathetic to do what I'm about to do. So um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, conserve in Australia. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it off the 12. Well, first, let me put a worker up there. I'm going to take it off the 12 money because I'm not sure how much more we're income we're going to we're going to make in this game. So take that 12 money and that's going to give me a whopping two conservation points. Look at that. And five oh, money. And I get five money. It, it it would be so much more exciting if they were all here <laughs> around me. <laughs> It's just sad little me out there. I promised at the beginning of this game that I would be like, yeah, my conservation game's coming. It, it, it's not coming. It's somewhere <laughs> in that deck with all the birds and the herbivores. <laughs> oh, anyways. That's it. I can't donate because I haven't upgraded my association. So um, that's uh, that's that. Okay. All right. I am going to sponsor a gorilla field research that requires three science and i have three science now yep yep three science so that is going to give me another science which i don't really need but it also gives me a conservation point and two reputation conservation goes here and then that's going to max out my reputation track so this spot's going to get me an x and then every time i get more reputation I just get an appeal. So the other reputation gets me appeal, bringing me to 43. Look how close we are on the appeal track. So much closer over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buddies. All right. I think that is it for me. Not quite as strong as Nick's turn, but. This really speaks to what you were saying, Nick, about like the tracks are not necessarily representative. Like I've been in the lead on appeal this whole game, but it means very little. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I'm sponsoring for five. Uh, and I'm going to sponsor for money. Okay. All right, I'm taking cards. I finally, finally got this cards action up to the five. So yeah. I can take four and discard one. And I swear to you, if there is not a bird or an herbivore in this, it's over. <laughs> Well, one bird, hey, one bird. Hey. All right. <laughs> I'm moving the break track up twice for you as well. Fantastic. All right. That's it for me. You have to discard one still, right? I do. Yes. I'm sorry. I do have to discard one. I will figure that out while you uh, go. All right. It's my turn. And I've just realized that at some point I forgot to flip one of these cards. There's four ways to flip cards in the game. There's one underneath that. There's one underneath that, and obviously I've done both of those. There's also a card flip over here on the reputation track, and I've easily gotten past that since I'm at the max, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure I took a card flip from this instead of a person. So one of these should be flipped. I'm pretty certain of, and I'm just going to say it's going to be animals. I'm not sure at what point I missed that, but hopefully we're back to being correct now. Well, now I can take my turn, and I think I'm going to build. This is a strength of five, and I am going to place a kiosk here for two money. Then I will place a size one here for two money. After that, I'm going to place a three, and I'll put it right there. 
So that's going to cover up a spot to let me draw a card from my reputation value, and that's going to cost six money. The thing I want more than anything is an Asia icon. I could get one, I guess, from a zoo partnership, but I really would love to just play a card. So I'm going to go random since I don't love any of these options. Let's see what we get. It, hmm. It's not a good card. <laughs> anyway, that one is uh, not going to do anything for me, but that's what you get when you try to go uh, with luck of the draw. Either way, that's going to finish my turn. I'm going to finish building. I've almost completely maxed out my zoo here. All right, Nick. Okay. I'm going to take the build action. I'm going to build a two enclosure here. Oh, I'm realizing one of these guys is supposed to be out on the university. I didn't put it out there earlier. So I will get an X and two reputation for my mad scientist zoo. You can flip a card. I don't think any of it matters, to be honest. So, sure, animals is fine. Actually, no, I'll flip build because I guess I could always take an action of just placing a bunch of little weenie appeal spots. Yeah, get some different things down. Yep. I'll get it. That's my turn. Yeah. Actually, before you go, Anastasia, I, I don't know why I put a kiosk here. It's okay if I just swap that kiosk out for a, for a pavilion. The pavilion, I think, is the obvious right answer. I do not need more money at this point in the game. Much appreciated. All right. I am also going to build. Um, I just kind of discovered this, man, this kiosk really kind of blocked my, my, my big, you got to kind of think about where the stuff is going. So I have this cool card that I need to place a five for and uh, I can't do it. So, no. so I've gathered this fun collection of small, small enclosures <laughs> to see uh, what I can do to maximize the most points uh, or not the most points, the most benefits. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is let's see here. That's definitely going to happen. I think that what's going to happen is a version of, of these five. If I'm planning this correctly and my goal here is to cover all four of these if i can manage it which i think i can Seems so doable first is gonna come wait nope 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 oh wait but i can i'm just gonna tip it a little bit over here so so i'm gonna pop this up here that's gonna go ahead and give me an x token so i'll grab that and then let's drop this it's interesting this kiosk is going to be a little bit wasted up here but um i'll go ahead and put this one next to it so i guess that will make it slightly better but uh this is going to give me two reputation by putting this up here and this will give me another x token here and then i will put this uh, pavilion down here to draw a card so i'll make those look pretty in a second but let's grab my stuff so Another X token, two X tokens, and I'm going to grab my two reputation, popping up my reputation, uh, which I'm allowed to do because I have flipped the cards action. It's also going to let me draw a card, and then I get to draw one, so ultimately two cards out of that. So draw two cards, place all that, and then I'm going to pay my 10 money for placing those 10 things that's it awesome um i realizing that the build action makes you build different things i don't care about flipping it so i'm just going to actually flip the animals okay that makes sense all right it's my turn and i'm going to associate for three and i'm going to go over here and partner up with asia because i'm not finding any asia cards and I really need at least one Asia icon to activate a conservation point end game scoring thing. So now I get this. And this is still pretty good, even though the discount really doesn't matter because I can't find a way to draw those cards because that's going to unlock my last worker, which is going to get me two conservation points. So I am still nipping at Nick's heels here. 
Next up, I think it's getting really expensive to donate, but I think I got to stay on this because we're going to be getting income soon. I'm going to toss this over here. So I am actually fully tied with Nick. We are tied on conservation and we are tied on appeal. It's getting tight over there. All right. You are up, Nick. I'm going to play animals. These ostensibly cost me 22, but I'm going to play this one first, which will give me $2 back. So that lets me play them both. Why does it give you $2 back? Because of the jumping. Ah, advance the break two spaces and then gain two money. Nice. So I'm going to advance the break two spaces. Um, I'm going to clear out all my money. I'm going to flip this and again, over enclosure because I'm not very intelligent. <laughs> Um, and Efficient. Then I will You're very intelligent. Scavenge the discard pile. So I draw two and discard one of the two. Huh, that's cool. Um, uh, oh, wonderful. These are both cards that I personally discarded earlier. <laughs> 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 really good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and then I will score 11 appeal. 44, Boo. 55. Well, we were tied mm. for a second for one brief, beautiful moment. Mm. Uh, did you get your reputation for playing an animal card at the fifth slot? An upgraded animal I card? I did not. So I am now in the fourth tier here. All right. That's me. Okay. Nick is getting very close over there. I'm just trying to figure out what I have time for and what I want to pull off here with the time I have left. Yeah. All right, this isn't a great action, but I actually am a little bit stymied in terms of what I can do, everything I need to do. I don't know what I'm going to be able to get done <laughs> before Nick ends this thing, or John. John's nipping at his heels, so I'm just going to kind of uh, get some stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead and play this sponsor card, um, this level four sponsor card. It Gives me a science. Uh, right now, I get to just gain three money. And it'll give me three more money on income, which, you know, big whoop. But And a conservation if you have nine reputation. Which I do. So it will give me a conservation yeah, at the do. end of the game. So nice. that's just little points. Little points. Little points. Nickels and dimes over here. All right. I, I'm going to do a cards action. I really need a break to happen. So that's going to break two. This is in the fifth slot, so I can draw four, discard one, or snap. And this card row hasn't been moving that much lately. I don't think I'm interested in any of those. So I'm going to draw four. I have to discard one of these after that. And then the break is actually going to cause a break income. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have to get rid of three of these ultimately. I definitely don't want this one. I don't see a world where I'm going to get both of these done. So I think I'll get rid of this one. And that one is probably not happening. So again, I only have to discard one. I'm just preemptively discarding down for the break. All right. Uh, the break token moves forward once. I get an X token for that. I can take this. And it's time for another break. So we all check our hand size. I obviously preemptively discarded down. Are we all good with that? Yeah, I discarded. Yep. Cool. We don't have to lose any of these. Nick is resetting that board. These two cards go away, and we can see some new ones. And then it's time for income again. I'll just give everyone a single conservation point because we all have that unlocked. Just going to take care of that real quick. I get two. Nick gets another one from what? My medical breakthrough. Ah, uh, yes. Very nice. I've given you your other one. Gosh, Nick I should probably so just close. let you t handle the rest of your income. Sorry. <laughs> Too bad you don't get money, any points for money at the end of the game, because I've got tons of it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got quite a few revenue points as well here. Oh, also, there's appeal. 24 for me. I've got a whole bunch of these kiosks. That one's going to get me two money. That one gives three. And that one gives four. So that's nine. 
So another thing that happens is I've now finished filling in every single spot on my board. So that's going to get me seven bonus appeal. So I go from 44 up to 51. Still behind Nick. And I think that's it for my break. Is everybody done? I'm over here mm -hmm. just giving myself income for everything. <laughs> All right, guys, I've got lots and lots of money. You, <laughs> you really do. Too bad right, you can't Nick. buy conservation. All right. Well, that yeah. was a bummer because I am going to end the game, and I was hoping that I would do it before. Wow. Happened. Dang, you are you are you're more in the lead than I thought you were. That's unfortunate. Um. So I'm going to associate with an X. That's so a fiver. Um, and I'm going to do Australia. I have four icons. Nice. I don't think any of these things matter. Money doesn't matter at the end, right? Nope, not unless something says it does. Not unless a specific I, card says it does. I, I'm going to do this one that gives me three X's because the extra two X's are relevant for me. <laughs> Thanks to my expert on Africa. Um... Yeah, I don't think anything else matters for me. And I'll place that on Australia. I will get four for that. One, two, three, four. I will spend Oof. 10 bucks. Um, I guess that's the good thing about the break because it does give me extra point there. For this donation? As a donation. Wow. And All that's right. My game. Yeah, so um, everyone else gets one more turn, and that's it. Well, I knew the end of the game was close. I didn't realize it was that close. I don't think I'm going to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've got a lot of sponsor cards over game here. Scoring, yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how we go here. All right. Well, I'm going to do animals with the end here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my reputation, which will give me one measly conservation point uh which doesn't do much and i'm gonna build it's a real pity that i have nothing that would let me draw a card <laughs> the one bird that i drew after all that time i can't play because it needs a partnership <laughs> with australia <laughs> oh. <No>. <laughs> yeah it hurts but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay so i'm gonna go ahead and play this bow constrictor i'll i'll pop this up here um, so, yeah, and there's no way to get the sponsor. No, I don't have enough X tokens. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to play this bow constrictor. So, I am able to do that because I had added a science, and I've got a science here, which I'm grateful for because I was going to associate to get it, but Matt clearly did not have time to do that. So, play that. Uh, first things first is it's going to cost me 13 because I... Small animal. Small animals. Which really means nothing because I just have so much money now. I could, in, in a game that already takes an eternity, I could have just used like another 20 minutes. <laughs> um, but here we are. Okay, so that bow constrictor is going to go into my reptile preserve. And I'm going to get seven appeal for it so i go from 46 up to 53 i didn't even get as high on appeal as i predicted but i definitely stayed where i thought i would on conservation <laughs> 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 um and then uh, the one one more benefit of that is that i get to play one more kiosk which i don't really even need at this point uh because i've already reached my Got need five. of my need of five but uh let's place it down anyways somewhere oh actually oh i guess i can i can just place yeah. it over here does not matter but there we are kiosk right. kiosk for the win that's all the winning i've got for right to, for today <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna play another animal i can't um unfortunately i'd love to oh. Well, I would have loved two more turns. I got to tell you, <laughs> I really would have loved two more turns. Um, 
but with one turn no, you were doing everything i was like i gotta make this end as fast as possible <laughs> yeah i i i was in a really strong position earlier i feel like we said this in in other games that we've been playing with but either way i part of me feels like playing two cards if i played these two animals which i can afford i would get a conservation and effectively eight appeal i'm currently at 51 so eight appeal gets me to 59 the conservation gets there so they're not quite there another thing i could do is i could just get four conservation one two three four which is arguably slightly better i don't want to hear all this talk about how easy it is for you to get four conservation <laughs> actually no i'm one science icon away from getting to four i could get three which would clearly be worse i could also get another university which would get me two conservation and that would get me this so that's another three conservation play bummer 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 two more turns oh well I think the right play is going to be to play some cards. So let's do it. Animals. So that's going to let me play two. Uh, we'll start here with this cotton top tamarind. I don't think I have any discounts there. Oh, I do, actually. Three money discount. Then that is going to get me four appeal, one reputation, and one conservation. Conservation brings me there. The reputation is maxed, so that turns into an appeal. So it's effectively five appeal. So I go up to 56. Also, because I played animals in the fifth slot, I get a reputation, which turns into another appeal. So I get to 57. And now we can play the biggest card from my hand. And it doesn't really matter between these two. Oh, actually, technically, I need to put this monkey over here. And then I guess I will play... What a flex. You have this. a one. You put him in the three anyway. <laughs> well, there, here's the one right here. You know what? I'll put this one into a three as well, right there in the middle of the park. <laughs> Everyone wants to see my fennec fox. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to cost eight. Uh, the clever action, I don't really care about, and that's going to get me three appeal. So I go one, two, three, and I, I forgot to factor in that extra reputation. So I am, I mean, it's, I'm going to get a bunch of, well, some endgame points, but I didn't quite touch. So Nick is definitely in the lead at this point, and that is going to finish the game. So it's time for endgame victory points. Why don't we start with mine, just to make it real, real fun. I don't, Sounds what do good. We think? Okay. Sounds good. Let's, let's see where we got here. Okay. So we've got three of these cards. So, um. I did not play six birds, and I swear to you, if there are six birds left in that deck, I'm going to be shocked. I, I like, <laughs> Before we end this, we're go I'm going to start going through that deck, and I'm going to find was, the birds. I was taking a look through the deck. There's a lot of birds left in there. Oh my God. <laughs> it's because he shuffled. <laughs> is, this is not... Okay, does this deck, is this deck locked? Where is this? Come on over here. Come on over here. I'm just going to go through this deck and, and find birds while they, they add up their scores. Okay, but I did get uh, five kiosks down, so I will get one point for that. And I was at nine on the reputation track. So look at that. I'm going to get two, two more conservation points. What about your goal card? Oh, I forgot about that. Yep, even that I came up short on. So <laughs> I, I did have three sponsors, and ah. I will get one additional... And you know, just because the only thing I did well you have five here sponsors. Well, yeah, but you needed oh, six. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's six, so I'll get one extra conservation, and I'm giving myself that five money. It means absolutely nothing, but it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I <laughs> the one good thing about the last game is I did so much better than this one. <laughs> <laughs> I can score some end game points, and I have the architectural zoo. I get one conservation for connecting all water, another one for connecting all rocks, then for all border spaces, and finally for covering the whole zoo map. Obviously, I did. Uh, connecting just means touching, and since I finished the whole map, I get the maximum of four conservation for that. Uh, I don't get the three from this because I only managed to get two out of these three, unfortunately. Uh, then this one here, I did manage to get all five of the icons, just barely, by getting this Asia Zoo Partnership. So that's one. So I think, all told, I have four plus one, or five extra conservation points. That is going to bring me up to here. All right, I think that's it for me. 
All right, believe it or not, I'm a research zoo. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have the six Un- icons for the four unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. And then I have five extra appeal for my um, lady in Africa. So five here and two, three, four here. Wow. Well, now we can score uh, the final scores. So, Nick, you were at 60 minus the low part of this, so 34. So you got 26 points. 26. Okay. I am at the low part of 46 and 60, so that means I got... 14 points and Anastasia has a negative score so it, it <laughs> according to the rule book it doesn't count <laughs> is that really what it says well you can only no that's not true you can only win if you have a positive score which is a weird thing to say considering someone needs okay. a positive score to add okay it. add it up then add it up what did I get negative what <laughs> well okay. Anastasia gets um what was that at? And Anastasia gets 53 minus 94. Mm-hmm. 53 minus 94. So and that is uh, a score of negative 41. Negative 41. You want a game to make you feel good at the end? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Play Arc Nova. For, for, the, for the record, the scores in our last game were like 9, 12, 15. Right? Yes, like a they very were much, tight, much, much closer. An extremely tight final score. Wait, yeah. why am I the only one who wrote mine on the board? I'm... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> I think because you really wanted to highlight it. Oh my gosh. I will say that over here, I did I did manage to, after pulling an abundance of cards, pull out three birds. <laughs> took me <laughs> took me quite a few to get there. There's Several so much of them in that deck. Would have been really cool. Um, yeah. The, oh, look, look. What did I tell you? They're all at the bottom. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of animals. I mean, that deck has 212 cards in it. Yeah. And in my hand, I still had I had an expert for Australia and I had a bird that required Australia. If I could have drawn some of these earlier and made some combos, that would have been really cool. Or if the game had gone another hour and a half, which so you really needed. <laughs> which <laughs> I will say, you know what? I, I do want to put this out there. Please come join us. We have a lot to say. We've now played this twice. Uh, we spent many, many, many hours playing Arc Nova in those two plays. So there's 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 much to say. And so please come join us in the Friendly Ties podcast. But um, even you know, even with my negative forty one score, I still had a blast actually playing awesome. this one. That's which that's is, really great to hear. Yeah, it's uh, which is good because um, well, in my last play of it. Uh well, you know what? That's a little tease. So come find out. <laughs> come find out. Yeah. So it was yeah, fun so listening to you guys as usual. Awesome. So uh in the description of this video you can find a link to the YouTube version of the Friendly Ties discussion uh, on the Friendly Ties podcast, or you could listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. We're just gonna talk about how this all went and uh we all hope you join us there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>